Hey guys, for just let you know, this is the day when we have the new iOS 5.0.1 that has been released and it should fix the battery issues for the iPhone 4S or I don't remember if it was in iOS 5 or if it was in the iPhone 4S but uh, I mean I have, I have, I have iOS 5 on this one and I have iOS 5 on my iPod touch so I think I'm gonna update them just by plugging in my cable here and connect them um, just like that we should have some actions going on pretty soon here uh, in my iTunes I have iTunes fired up here and we should be able to go ahead and click on the little update button Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, we can see there the new one. 5.0.1. We're gonna click update. Okay, we can see all of the new stuff. Uh, it's compatible with iPhone 4, iPhone 4S, 3GS, iPad 2, iPad, iPod Touch uh, 3G and 4G. Good, sweet, approve, and update and everything let's see here okay it's copying some of my apps right now uh, but uh, yeah my new iPhone 4S I won't have it for like a week but uh, I like the form factor or I like that exclusive feeling uh, that I get when I use it now it is you know starting to download it uh, so I'm just gonna pause this video and then when it's finished I'm gonna, you know, cut back to when it have finished, you know, downloading and everything. So be back in a sec. No, 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 no. It says I have a problem with my internet connection, and it can't download it. But my internet works fine. This is also one thing that sucks with, you know, iTunes updates. It seems like Apple has so many problems with their servers. So let's see. Do I have to re-download it? Oh my god. I have to re-download. Oh my god. Okay, I, I mean, I'm just gonna restart my computer first. Um, so, be back in a sec, I'm gonna download it. And then when I've finished, I'm gonna, you know, hit record again. See ya. Okay guys, so I'm back up and running here. I have restarted. And I'm gonna try to remove these things. Oh, there we go. Uh, but I restarted it, my computer. And this is something also that I hate with iTunes that I'm so locked. And look here, I have the connection, I have the cable, the cable, but do I see my device here? No, I don't. I have to... Mm. Oh, yes. There we go. Or? Yes, there we go. I'm sure if it should be like that, but that's just annoying. Apple, effing, fix that. So, time to update. Hit update. And hopefully, it has to re-download everything, I assume. Okay, approve. Yeah, start the program update. Oh, 34 minutes. Isn't that great? Yes, I'm not sure why my screen is doing that when I'm zooming in. Uh, but, uh, yes! Hopefully it works this time, and I'm just gonna pause now, and I'm probably gonna get back when it's almost finished or something, or when it is finished. See you guys. Again! Oh my god, I have to restart again. Can't it just be like a normal page when you download that they will just resume? Oh my god, I have to download it again, 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 again. Oh my... Mm. I, I I hate iTunes. I hate how it works. Oh my god. That you have to re-download again if if you, something happens. Oh my god. This is this is just shit. Yeah. See. Fifteen minutes to go. Yes, we are closing in. And hopefully it won't fail. Hey guys, just notice something. It seems like when I update my 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 iPhone 4S to iOS 5.0.1, it seems like it's effing up my connection. 
Look at this. Connect. No. Doesn't wanna connect. No, but seriously, it seems like uh, when I'm updating my Apple device, my Android device doesn't work with my hotspot on my computer, and that's that's annoying. Seriously, that's that's that that sucks. But uh, we only have uh, like, let's see here, ten minutes to go, and if it's gonna fail this time, I'm, I'm gonna be pissed off. Uh, but hopefully it work. So yeah. 55 seconds to go! No, I don't want to fail, because I, I'm not going to download it again. And I, I'm not sure why is the download so big. Uh, this is only a iOS 5.0.1 update. It's an extremely small update, and it's taking time. I mean, seriously. It's taking time. It's been taking like 30 minutes, or 30... 35, 40 minutes to download. That's insane. Uh, shouldn't take that long to download use a small little patch. Or is it really re downloading the whole operating system? Because it feels like it's doing that. Because I don't have that bad connection right now. Uh, could probably go up to 1 megabits per second. So, really that long? I mean, uh, it could be the servers. But, you know, money. Can't they fix the servers so you can download it faster or something? Okay, here we go. Uh, okay, extracting, do all of those good stuff. Okay, let's see here. You can't see anything in the background, that sucks. Okay, it's, it's extracting some shit, um, since she didn't really say shit. Okay, controlling the iPhone update with Apple, and that's Swedish. Uh, why do I have a white one? I don't have a white one. Oh, black one, I mean. I have the white one. Seriously. Apple. Okay, that, that's not a, you know, a thing that annoys me that much, but... I have the white one. It's probably gonna be, like, an update or something. So they're gonna fix that. Oh yes, the Apple logo. Okay. Okay. Do I have to reconnect it? Okay, okay, sure, sure. Okay, now it's installing the update kind of like. Oh yes. Have the cable inside of her. Yes, it, it's a she actually. Uh, it's it's Siri actually. I think I think the iPhone 4s. It's a girl, you know, with the name Siri. Yeah, so sexy. No, maybe not. It's just a phone. I just love the new macro uh, that I can get up really, you know, close. That's nice. And the details is a little better. Do -do -do. Okay. So start. Okay, still controlling the updated iPhone software in the background. Now the driver is ready on the computer. Come on. Today. I, I don't have a bad computer. I have a Core i7, so it shouldn't be taking that long but then I'm probably gonna get a comment saying oh you need to have a Mac computer to update your fast fo your, your phone faster seriously it's starting to take some time got the love set design there we go be a good boy now and finish this in like 30 seconds. Can you make it quicker? Come on. Serious waiting. We want you right now. Do, do, do. Maybe I should make uh, like a hands on impression with my 4S. I mean, really, it, it is an iPhone 4, but 
you know, seeing the sign and everything, so maybe not that interesting. A Leo redesigned uh, button here on the top, like 1.5 or dot one millimeter higher or something on the volume up key, I think. Something like that. I know I should pause the video, but I don't want to. I just love that blur effect. It's nice. I ha I have to become better, you know, with the effects and everything. And also, I think the lighting or that it it, it is better on lightening. Uh, this one, this uh, lens, this macro Canon 60 millimeter 2.8, uh, that it's better in lighting thingy. So, if you are in poor light should be better than the 18 to 135 millimeter but that's also ex very expensive bitch you shouldn't really buy those expensive lenses you should probably just buy a you know, cheaper cam if you're not a pro like me I like good stuff and big stuff yes no not big stuff maybe no I don't uh, Siri maybe like big stuff you know like this big nasty cable she have up there uh, from you know the bottom you know you're sticking it in there um, kind of hard actually and it's kind of hard to remove you know because she, she likes to have it there you know it feels good obviously so yeah I don't want to you know do anything bad with her so yeah you shouldn't really watch this video it's just a boring update okay let's see Blah blah blah, updating iPhone is updating something. Oh, they have my songs. And you can't see them because I'm gonna make it blurry. Oh yes, that's a good thing. Okay, so it's kind of like restarting or something. This is one thing that I think it could be kind of lame with the iPhones and stuff like that. Take some time. Okay, so let's see here. Do we have it's a new update? Uh, let's see. Yes, there we go. Version 5.0.1, but I'm not sure if this is gonna fix the battery issues. Uh, I've, I've been hearing some people having you know still having problems, so I'm not quite so sure about that, but uh, at least I'm running iOS 5.0.1 on my iPhone 4S, so that's awesome. See you guys.